Good afternoon. We're going to be reading a little bit more of Victory by Susan Cooper today. Now, last time we read the prologue and it was all about uh, the funeral of Lord Nelson. And the key bit of information in there is that the uh, ensign is torn up and shared out between uh, his sailors. Now, he was a very, very, very important man and a very famous Briton. So it would be really good if you could do some research to find out a little bit more about him. Now, we are gonna start chapter one and we jump to the present day and we are gonna meet a girl called Molly who lives in Connecticut in America. Now, let's start. So, Molly in Connecticut. Molly sits in a Connecticut garden with her book under, ta under a towering maple tree. Chew, 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 sings a cardinal, that's a bird, from the branches above her. A high, clear call, and somewhere far off, another bird answers him. Then the bird flies, swooping down and across the lawn past the garden chair on which Molly sits. A bright red flash of a bird, like none she ever saw at home. But this is home now, she tries to remind herself. Never, says a rebellious small voice silently in her brain. Something drops past her nose in a blur, and she looks down and sees a hairy caterpillar moving smartly across the page, rippling, hasty. Now she knows what that litter of tiny black dots on the arm of her chair must be. Droppings from hairy caterpillars. Yuck! says Molly and shakes the caterpillar down onto the grass. Maybe the singing bird will come back and have it for tea. There's no such meal as tea here, says the small silent voice. That's in her head. Molly is an English city girl. All her 11 years until this one have been spent in London. Though London is greener than most cities, full of parks and trees and squares with gardens in the middle. Molly and her mother had lived in one such in Merton Square. The Victorian terraced houses on all four sides of the square had long been divided into flats, and theirs was on the top floor. In the centre of the square was a garden the size of a football field, set about with trees and flower beds and small lawns. The whole garden was enclosed behind wrought iron fencing with two big iron gates to which every family who lived in the square, but nobody else, had a key. Though Molly was a city girl, her bedroom looked out over treetops. But that was then. This is now. In Connecticut, 4,000 miles away, Molly brushes a few new black dots off the page of her book and sighs. The book is part of her summer reading for the school she will go to in September. It's a novel about Paul Revere, hero of the Revolutionary War, the war in which the noble American patriots wrested their freedom from the tyrannical British. Molly finds Paul Revere boringly virtuous. That means he's really well behaved, basically. She misses King Alfred, who burned the cakes, King Canute, who vainly told the sea to go back, King Charles, who lost his head, she misses 2,000 years of imperfect British heroes. Molly! It's her mother's voice calling from the house over the new cut, sweet smelling lawn. She sounds harassed and then she's bothered. Moll, come and give me a hand, love! Moll runs indoors. The air conditioned house is cold after the soft heat of the sunlit garden. In the big white kitchen, her baby brother Donald is clamped into his high chair picking up bits of avocado with amazing delicacy between finger and thumb. He catches sight of her and beams, Moi! he cries, and whacks a chubby hand down on his plastic table, smashing the avocado into a gooey mess. So, we've met a few characters there in the modern day, but our main character is Molly. Now, she feels a bit miserable about the fact she's had to move from London to Connecticut. And I think for us to really understand the difference, it would be uh, really important. And for today's task is for you to research Connecticut. What is Connecticut like? Now, it's in America, but I'm not going to tell you any more than that. So your task to help you understand why she's so 
uh, what might make her so concerned and so upset about this change in her life, it would be really good if you could research what Connecticut is like, what's the geography like, what's the weather like, how is it different to London? That's your task, off you go.